surely. And, and uh, so you, you showed briefly, you did a lot of notes there, Javi. Yeah, I, listen, I, I, I let me say something. Hold on, this is came out of, uh, all right. So I built this business 100% belly to belly. That's where I exceed. That's what my gift is. And, you know, when Wilson did this training, I took notes because I love to learn. And I said this in the beginning, and I'm, and I'm always going to say this, I'm going to learn from everybody else. I learned from Chris. I learned from, from, from Bill Gitt. I'm going to learn from George. And I, I just learned from Wilson things I never knew about WhatsApp. I never even knew WhatsApp had stories, for Christ's sakes. You know? But, you know, <laughs> where the, I've been living under a rock, you know, and I have WhatsApp. But, um, but it's good because I always want to be better than yesterday. And that's what the point of this business is. Guys, when I first saw this team form, and the exponential growth that you're getting is because of the one big word, which is leadership. Everything rises and falls on leadership. Everything. So it's, it's all about, you know, how I've seen this grow. Be, and I sit back because I want to learn from you guys. And it's so important that that as we as a team, we collaborate. OK, and, you know, I'm, I think it's very important that for me, for me, that leaders are transparent and they're vulnerable because you become relatable to everybody okay because if your life is so perfect that people are going to say i can't relate to you because your life is easy my life is rough so i'm never going to be as successful as you are everyone here has a story everyone has a back-end story okay and some of you has heard my story before i honestly only had six dollars and twenty three cents in my bank account when I first started this fifteen years ago. Honestly, literally, I was hungry. Literally, okay. Everyone has a story here, and everyone has bad chapters. But that doesn't mean that your story is not going to end well. You understand? Chris has a story. Joy shared a story with me today that I never knew that touched my heart because the urgency that comes behind your work is coming from a story. Bill Gitt wants a boat. I'm going to help her get her freaking boat. Okay? Because I know how it is to come from nothing to something. Okay? In, in every family, in every wealthy family that you see, at one point, that family was not wealthy, but the one came. The one is you to help your family become wealthy. In my family, I'm the one. In your family, Chris, you're the one. George, you're the one. Bigot, you're the one. Helen, you're the one. Wilson, you're the one to help your family get to that wealthy part of your life. You've all made the decision to get from where you are to where you want to be. But I'm telling you right now, now this is what works for me. If you don't write this down and you don't write down when you want to go where you want to go, your dream will just be a wish because you're going to say, eh, I'll do it tomorrow. I wrote for April to go to presidential director. I made it three weeks ago or two weeks ago. Why? Not because I wrote it down. I did it because of the activity. I worry about the activity. And the activity, and I say this again, is just going freaking manager and making managers and repeating that over and over and over again. That's all it is. So if you guys have bad chapters, I want you to say, it's okay. Helen has expressed to me her bad chapters, but I want you to tell, tell you something. She is enough. And I told her this. And it's not because she's in this business, because the stars have aligned and, and I feel good in my stomach or I hit the lottery. No, this business came into your life for a reason, not because it was an accident. There are no accidents in life. There is none. We have to discover the people who are out there that we're going to help. It's not going to come to you. Like Wilson said, we have to go to the people. I'm going to use Chris, for example. He's on the road all day going to the people. He's patching people. He's doing in-person meetings. Now, if every person in your Zoom and in your meeting raises their hand because they want to go manager, 
you get that person on a call with your upline. It's all about exposures, okay? Sometimes it takes about five to seven exposures for people to get to feel in love with what they're doing. Now, it took me one, but sometimes it takes people five to seven exposures. Bill gets stood in the back of the room for a couple of months until she says, I'm in, I'm all in, and that's okay. Because everybody's gonna, everybody's gonna run their race at their pace. This is not a marathon. I mean, this is not a race. It's a marathon. Everyone will cross that finish line at different at different times. Okay, everyone. We just have to stop playing small. Chris, if someone in those in person meetings sign up and they want to do the business within the next 48, 72 hours, you go back to those people and you do their meeting. You want to create momentum, you, you create meetings. You don't let people create it for themselves because they do not know what to do. I don't allow people to wait for me to tell me when they want a meeting. Person signs up, they want to do a bit great. When the next 48 hours, you get me in front of the first four or five people that you have influence over so we can tell them what you're doing. So guess what? Out of the four of those five people, they say two want to do the business. Within the next 48, 72 hours, I'm going to do a meeting for them. That is four meetings in one week with just one person. That's how you create momentum. Which is with the question that I asked Kavi. I said, after four months, you had in your downline 900 people. And after three and a half months, I got like 290. So how did you do it? And that's the answer that came. Um, uh, no, you, want this, you want this exponential growth. I'm sorry to interrupt you, George. I'm just in the zone no, right now. No, go no. for it. You want this exponential growth. You have to create it. It's not going to come to you. I'm telling you right now. And in the beginning, we have to do this work. I, I slept, I ate, and I thought, and I, and I did everything on LifeWave. All my water went into that seed. You can have a bunch of seeds and expect to water all those seeds because they will not bloom at the same time. So I put everything into this seed, all my effort and my energy in helping people that want to go manager and director, okay? And, the, and then the magic just happened because I decided to create it, to be intentional. A lot of people who sit back and, 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 and Wilson said, you know what, it doesn't work. It doesn't work because they stopped being intentional. You have to be intentional when it comes to your business. This is a business. This is not a book club. Okay, if you want to be in a book club, you're in the wrong freaking Zoom. Okay, this is a, a, a business of like minded people who want to create a legacy for themselves and their family. And we're building a relationship at the same time. And we're building a family at the same time, a long lasting relationship. I'm not part of a book club. This is a business at the end of the day. And I made great friends here, long lasting friends here who want to create a legacy, who want to travel the world together, who want to do big things. That's why I'm here because I don't play small. And I wake up every morning saying to myself, no one's gonna outwork me. Maybe but that's I how I think. <laughs> huh? Maybe I do. Maybe you know, I'm just, well, sometimes you're up at three in the morning. I'm like, holy <laughs> shit, what's you doing up at three in the morning this time, you know? Yeah, because- You know, you are the one and you have to be intentional. If somebody wants to, signs up and wants to consume the product, they wanna try it, great, no problem. We're not here to convince people to want to have a better life. A man convinced against their will is of the same opinion. It's all about exposure. Chris, you sign someone. Who's next? George. From George comes to me. It's all about exposure and having that people get that person get excited for everything they see next. Okay. I am not LifeWave. I'm Javi Solis. I have a mission statement. So every time I enroll somebody, they want to go manager. Guess who's on the phone with them? Mike Hernandez. Okay, they, I hit them with Mike Hernandez. So Mike Hernandez, I hit them with Stephen Gina Merritt, and they get excited and they 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 get plugged into everything. If you're not plugging your people in into what LifeWave is about, you're doing a disservice to them. You are sabotaging their business and you're sabotaging your business if you don't plug them in to see what LifeWave is all about. If you leave LifeWave to you and just you then your business is, I'm telling you, is going to die because you're not the magic. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have a skill. The magic is a team effort. Okay. I am not the magic, but my pain and my passion 
comes from past experiences. And I use that to build my business. I use it. It's about a frequency that you build every single day. This team has built their frequency on the daily basis. And it shows, and it shows how this exponential growth because your frequency and your efforts are put into this every freaking day. If it wasn't for that, this team will not be just this big because it's led by great freaking leaders. If you want, I don't like to do this. Joyce knows I don't like to do this. I don't like to do this. I don't, I don't, I don't. Okay. I ended last week with this. Okay. How am I different than any of you? I'm not. I'm just intentional. Because I always go back and I think of my $6.23 in my bank account. And I say to myself, I'm never going to let that ever happen to me again. I don't know all your stories. I don't. And it's none of my business. If you want to share, then it'll become a part of me. And then your passion is going to be my passion. And I'm going to get you to where you want to go. That's just how, how he rolls. That's how I'm wired. Bill Gates wants a boat. I'm going to help her get her freaking boat now. That's her passion. How? By helping her people go manager and go director. I'm telling you right now, guys, if you do that over and over again, and I'm not going to change my tune. I'm not going to change my vocabulary. Manager, director, over and over again. It's not about enrolling people. It's about enrolling them and helping them go manager and helping their people go manager and helping their people go manager. Because when you create managers, directors just happen to end up coming to place. Okay. And when you create directors, senior directors end up coming to place. And what happens? Your, your 660 leg explodes and you have a big leg. So you have a 330 leg and your 330 leg is going to keep on cycling and keep on cycling and keep on cycling. And then your first level and your second level and your third level check match is going to keep on increasing and they keep on increasing and they keep on increasing because you made managers. Aren't you sick of me saying that word? <laughs> I just want to come here and say, go manager and get the hell off. I am no different than you. I am just intentional. I am intentional and I'm intentional and I am intentional. So I've got a question. What do you say? And I'm sure quite a lot of people have discovered this with people they've invited uh, who say, look, um, I, 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 I don't want my people that I've invited to tell them about the business because you know I think uh, I think the business is not for them and I I I, I mean it's they they they're not networkers or they <laughs> they're not they're not, um, they're not interested or I have to um, uh, you the way you talk is different to the way I talk how do you address that because I've heard all of this stuff I I tell them there, this I said. You. You're their business partner and you're thinking and you're speaking for these people and you're sabotaging them from seeing something big. Okay. I tell them, let them plug in and see what the team is all about and let them chew the meat, spit out the bones, take what they want, leave what they don't want. Okay. We're not going to relate to everybody. Okay. There's people who don't relate to me. There's people who don't relate to Bill Gitt. There's people who don't relate to Mike Hernandez. There's people who don't relate to Stephen Gina Merritt, but they're going to take what they want and they're going to leave what they don't want. I'm going to take the nuggets on how to build. Listen, that man make $37,000 a week. I am going to listen to how he builds his business. Okay. I had a mentor when I first came into this business that told me, Javi, never take financial advice from someone who's not financially stable because they can never show you how to be. And never take success, from, success advice from someone who's never been successful because they can never show you how to be. So if this man makes that much money making managers and creating managers and creating managers, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to be a manager making machine. And becoming a manager making machine, okay, gets you paid the way you get paid. 
to be purpose driven, not ego driven. If you sponsor somebody, that person should be introduced to your sponsor. And your sponsor is going to ask that person within the next 30, 60, 90 days, if they want to do the business, where do you want to be in this company? Great. I would like to be a director within the next 60 days. Fantastic. This is what's required. Within the next 48 hours, let's do a Zoom with the first four or five people that you have influence in. And we can do your first Zoom and show them the presentation. They do not have to wait till the following week to, 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 see, to see this because the fire is going to die. They're excited. Strike the iron wire is hot because they're still young in the way they're thinking. They're going to talk to somebody that's going to take that fire out their mind. Expose them. And when you expose them to their sponsor, then you expose them to the next person in your line of sponsorship. So I had somebody who said there's too many meetings. There's never too many meetings because not everybody can get into every meeting because life happens. People work. If you can't make a Monday meeting, do a two, go to the Tuesday meeting. If you can't do the Tuesday meeting, go to the Wednesday meeting. But if, if you can't get in that meeting, doesn't mean that your team cannot get on that meeting. Plug your people in. You're doing a disservice to them and you're doing a disservice to your business. Everybody gets plugged into all of them. I tell everybody, everybody, because you, have, you, you gotta be a, a good promoter. You gotta be a good promoter, everybody. If you don't wanna plug people in your meetings, then you know what, then just stop. Just stop, just quit. Just don't do nothing. I love everything you just said. <laughs> you know, you you can't be listen, I am listen, I'm Javi Solis. I have passion, I have transparency, I have vulnerability, but I know how to build. And I'm not gonna teach something that I am not doing that will make me a fraud. You enroll somebody, you enroll somebody, and I'm gonna make this quick because I gotta go pick up my babies from school. You enroll somebody. We're not in the convincing business, okay? A man convinced against their will is of the same opinion, okay? We're in the, we are in the problem-solving business. If a person wants to do this business and they want to make an extra $500 a month, we're going to show them how to go manager to make that money, okay? Please, if you want momentum and they want to do this business and they raise their hand, you put them on with your sponsor and your sponsor is going to ask them, or you can even ask them within the next 30, 60, 90 days where you want to be. In the next 48 hours, let's do your first Zoom meeting. And if your sponsor isn't somebody who can do that, go up. You line. go to the next person up. You don't go left. You don't go right. You go up. You don't go down. You go sideline, upline, north, west, east. You go up. So my, my serves here, okay, Wilson goes to Chris, Chris goes to George, George comes to me, I go to Mike, Mike goes to Steve and Gina, Steve and Gina goes to Onyx. That's how it should be. It's not hard, people. Don't overcomplicate this. If they don't want to go manager, please step aside. I'm going to work for somebody who wants to go manager. You can always get there. Distraction is bad. Distraction will always come into your life. Distraction. For me, I watch. I don't watch television. I can watch a show, and I'm off, because that that's a distraction. I don't watch the news because it's all bullshit. Okay, I don't watch the news. Okay, I listen. I don't care. I don't give a shit about the Super Bowl. <laughs> there are people already living their dreams. I got to help people live their dreams. Okay, I don't care about the Super Bowl. I used to, not anymore. Okay, just. Guys, if you meet people, if you sponsor someone, 30, 60, 90 days, do their first Zoom. Listen, I should be doing Zooms here for people every freaking day. People who want to do the business. I should be. Chris, you should be having like five meetings every week. Zooms. Bill Gitt, you should be having five meetings every week for people who want to do this business. One meeting, one person on a Zoom is a meeting. You don't have to have five people. That one person could be your next senior director. You don't have to have five people on a, 20 people on the Zoom every time. I meet people one-on-one, -on -one, Starbucks, Panera Bread. 
I'm not going to wait to 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 pack up Starbucks to talk to 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 do a meeting for that person. It's all about the activity. And you, before you know it, if you want to go see your director in April and you end up making it in, in March, it's because of the activity that you created. It's not going to happen on its own. It's not. It's not. It's not. So with that being said, I love the hell out of each and every one of you here. I spoke to personally and I looked at the thing to everyone here, except maybe two people. Reach out to me and you want to go manager, I will help you go manager. George will help you go manager. Desiree will help you go manager for her team. Kenneth, I don't know Tony Becker, but I will soon know her. Okay, it's just follow the leader. This is a follow the overcomplicated. Let's help you go manager. Chris, every person you signed up personally, there should be a Zoom within the next 48 hours, whoever wants to do the business. You should, you should have bags under your eyes because I know where you want to go with this. <laughs> okay. I think he's got bags under his eyes, but anyway. Well, I want them to hang. I want them to hang like this. Okay. <laughs> hang. Anyway, I got to go, guys. I have to go to my, get my boys from school. Um, let's go, manager. Let's go, man. Thank you, Avi. Thank you, my brother. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That is amazing.